Hey, good afternoon. I want to talk to women and trans women. I just want to say, can y'all set that where I just massage y'all toes? Viewer discretion advice, even though it's not sexual and it's not all that explicit, y'all know me by now. But can y'all set me massaging y'all toes, sucking y'all toes without getting nude and without intercourse? And me massaging you? Because there's many ways you can make love with someone spiritually without intercourse or penetration. I always have learned that very early. And as I mature and blossom into the, the man I'm developing in, and still am, I always have learned that you can, you can... You can give, people can give all, people can give all themselves without going to the extreme. It could be love. It could be compassion. It could be, I, you could, you could still say I care as you care back. It could show, see when it comes to a female feet, like I said, when it comes to, I gotta be honest. Now, I'm a, like I said, I'm mostly gay, even though I have bisexual tendencies. Like I said, um, now when it comes to fem, now when it comes to men and females, I do, I do gotta admit, I do like to kiss the eyebrows and smell them. Because, like I said, when I come to eyes, I like the good smell. I like to think of beautiful cookies. And I like to think of the soul of the window. But back to... Uh, and also, guys, I don't mind sucking your toes, too, if you like honey on it. But for female, for women and trans women, I just want to say, can y'all accept that where I, I, I keep things platonic for the most part? Because, like, that's why, like I said, I don't... That's why, like I said, I don't mind open relationship as long as everything's safe and everything's on the same table and everybody and everybody's safe and fair. But, yeah... Cause like I said, I'm gonna like in time. I'm gonna like make books out of these fetishes I have. Just like the fart fetish, y'all know I got with guys. The foot fetish I have with females and trans women. And of course, yes, guys, I'll suck your toes too. But back to um females. The reason why I took on assignment becoming like gay and going all the way with it because I realized God need guys. I'm sorry, guys need more attention in other areas and fun areas, eccentric areas, different areas. Without always just thinking who's masculine, who's feminine, who look more what. Does it matter? No offense, but if I was white, I would have never had this argument. I would have probably been in a business just like that. And I'm not trying to say white people had it more easier, but because I'm different and because I don't know where to fit it and I'm still fighting for it, it's a long way I got to go. And, and like I said, I'm in this for a long haul. Even if I go through the grave, y'all still going to remember these videos. But as I was saying to females, I want y'all to learn that when I look at, when I massage y'all toes, suck y'all toes, put honey on it. I'm thinking about so many things. I'm thinking about beautiful. I'm thinking about so many beautiful stories. I'm thinking about so many plants, so many trees, so much how Earth is connected. And I'm thinking about, and I still like to keep my sister, my male sisterhood with y'all, and my male wifehood with y'all, and my male brotherly sensitivehood with y'all, and empathy. Because, like I said, growing up, I see so many stories and commercials how males told. How men told women what they want to hear just to get them in them. I heard these commercials saying, oh, I never get you pregnant. Oh, I never do this to you. And what and what happened? They showed these commercials of women sitting there laying with these babies in them, suffering. Even to this day, men tell, you, tell someone what they want to hear just to get in them, whether they get you pregnant or not. I'm somebody that like to take my time. I'm someone that like to have compassion. I'm someone that like to have empathy. Why you think sometimes if gay males... And women, if they're not catty, if you come across someone that's positive like me, I'm someone where I like to talk about arts. I'm someone that like to talk about beauty and fashions. I'm the one that like to, um, wh wh wherever the pain is, I'm someone that like to help you out the pain, sometimes even physically. But not in a way of how can I get in your draws. And sometimes when you leave out the intercourse and penetration... There's so room. There's so many rooms for adventurous. There's so many rooms for ideas, and there's so many rooms for spiritual connection without in the draws connection. And even with my guys, when I work with y'all, even though that's another dynamic, there's still a lot of love I have. But like I said, females. Like I said, when I think of y'all feet, I like to think of cornbread biscuits. I like to think of different flavors of biscuits and cornbread. And I like to think about different type of trees with berries on them, you know, and even males, if you want, like, and also males, if you like your toes, sometimes play with it, suck. Also, y'all can answer this question, women, trans women, and even guys, y'all can answer this question. Should, when it comes to my, when it comes to the soaps and when it comes to me do these books and fetish, what should feet be considered? What should, what should, what should I call feet? Should I call, what should I call feet by, should I call feet, when it comes to the feet, should I call it by race and hair color? And what type of, should it be like berries or fruits? Like, for example, 
I love blueberries. I love peaches. I love be I love blueberries. I love peaches. And I love strawberries. And maybe plums. But in your opinion, should the feet, when it comes to the trees and the feet, should they be called by trees, by tree berries? Like a tree berry, like a blueberry tree? What should feet be called? Blueberry tree, like biscuits and cornbread. Someone give me ideas about berries, cornbreads, and trees. That can how they can be soaps. But yeah, like I said, in the most eccentric way, I like to be. I like to encourage difference. But like I said, females, if I was to like have y'all as friends and close people, I like to still have connection with y'all in other ways. Because when you leave out, like I said, when you leave out the intercourse and penetration, it's a very powerful thing spiritually and psychologically and emotionally. But all right, let me know what y'all think about what your feet be called. What since I have a foot fetish, and like I said, guys, y'all know me. I have a butt fetish. Of guys, we know that. But God, but when it comes to women and trans women, and even guys, can answer the question: What should help me out with this? Should it be? Should it be like I said? Should should feet be considered blackberries, blueberries, biscuits, and peaches? Those are my and kiwis. I forgot. Those are my five favorite fruits. Kiwi, kiwi tree. No, that makes sense. How about blueberry trees, peach trees, and plums and pear trees? That's four. Yeah, and not apples. I'm not. I'm not into apples too much. Like I said, I like blueberries. I was thinking about blueberry trees. Help me out with this. When it comes to feet, should it be bi corn biscuits? Help me out with this. When it comes to the hair and the feet and the skin tone. Should it be should it be a such thing as blueberry 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 trees um blueberry trees and um pear trees and peaches trees and strawberry trees and bis and cornbread biscuit let me know it's just a thought even men can answer but like I said I have so much empathy for people. I do. And like I said, growing up, all when I watch, sometimes when I see stuff, it always breaks my heart. When I can understand it, why like a lot of males turn straight, but at the same time, it's so many males that miss out on other good males. And when guys get together with females, right there, that kills having intuition of a female's pain and connection. You know, it's a it's an intense story. Like I said, there's so much I want to share. It's just I can't put everything into all one video when it's about when I when I have a goal, harder goal. But okay, answer this question, if anybody want. Love y'all.